Back now with the story for all of the lovers out there. If you drive along I-64 in Virginia Beach, you might have seen it, a sign with a simple question. And tonight, we have the answer. And your side's Joe Fisher is here now with a proposal that played out on the morning commute. Tom Anita, this one's pretty fun, and it took a whole lot of effort and a whole lot of planning by Matt Moss. He says he wanted to do something different, and his master plan, which is right here, high above the interstate, worked out perfectly. They say love will drive you crazy. Uh, I was the last Thursday, May 2011. But after seven years, I couldn't see myself with anyone else. Matt Moss says his love for Rebecca Welch. She understands me. She gets my jokes. Has only driven him to do crazy things. You know, I wanted to be this huge thing. And huge it is, posted high above I-64, strapped onto the Providence Road Bridge before sunrise. A 4x30 sign for all to see. I had to be able to access it. I had to be able to do it safely. It took about a half hour to make it happen, all while Welch was sleeping. I had no idea. When he got home, he convinced her to grab some coffee. Then came the detour down the interstate and a flat tire, the final piece of the plan. Got in the emergency lane, told her we had a flat, and she's the whole time, we don't have a flat, what are you doing? We don't have a flat. I'm like, yeah, we got a flat. Trust me, we got a flat. Soon enough, she saw it. The big question as cars buzzed on by. And I looked up there and I instantly started crying and asked him how he did it and <laughs> said yes, of course. Right there on the side of the road, Moss got out of the car and onto one knee. She says she didn't think twice. It's how he makes her feel. Happiness, laughter, joy, silliness. <laughs> That's why I love him. A love that started with a chance meeting at the oceanfront when Moss saw Welch struggling to come up with change for the parking meter. I saw an opening, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he took it. Moss filled the meter and they talked the night away. Now they'll be talking the rest of their lives. Not a lot of people find love. About the morning, she said yes. I was a chosen one, I guess. Just lucky, she said. Yes, and congratulations to them. Moss says he's now challenging all of the other guys out there to be creative and try, just try to top this one. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.